Hi, Stark Centeno, and today I'm going to do a deep dive on ligament instability and rehab strategies on your journey of how to rehab from CCI. So I want you to like, comment, share, subscribe, because that's how we get this video out to more patients like you. So this is a three-part series. Uh, this is the rehab strategies part, and this is the deep dive video on ligament instability. Now, rehab strategies and interventions. Rehab strategies are things like conservative care, chiropractic, exercise, physical therapy. Interventions are things like minimally invasive uh, orthobiologic injections, surgery, et cetera. Now, one of the things that you can do if you have ligament instability and it's relatively new is to try to let it heal. And we have seen patients naturally heal with things like AO or Nuka chiropractic to get things back into the proper position so that things can heal. Uh, we've even seen curve correction. Dr. Katz, who I work with, has a whole case series on patients where he got the curve back and those patients were able to heal naturally. Obviously, if you can heal naturally, you don't really need what I do, which is precise image-guided orthobiologics. Now, one of the pearls and pitfalls here, if we're talking about NUCA, uh, is uh, here are the two uh, web addresses where you can find a NUCA or AO chiropractor. And if these adjustments help you, but they don't ever seem to hold, then you may need orthobiologic injection interventions like posterior injection or a PICL. And to determine which of those you need, you gotta figure out your CCI type and realize that after a PICL procedure, the adjustment vectors can change. So if you were doing it before a PICL, between before and after, you may see a change in adjustment vectors. Now, curve correction is another way to go. We talked about that. Um, again, you can restore the curve and take pressure off of the upper cervical spine. Pearls and pitfalls here is try this towel test. And I talk about this in another video on curve correction, another deep dive. But that's basically trying a towel, little hand towel, roll it up, experiment with the thickness, put it behind the middle of your neck and lie face up on a firm surface. And the goal there is to see if this feels good and it seems right for you, then you might be ready for curve correction. If it doesn't feel right for you and you can never tolerate anything like this, then again, you may need something like poster injections or PICL, got to get a CCI type to figure out what kind of injection you might need. So in summary, ligament instability can heal if the right circumstances are met and the focus should be taking load off the ligaments. And I've only talked about two strategies here. There are many other strategies in this series, things like getting your posture back to take off the weight from those ligaments, correcting your curve, doing AO or Nuka chiropractic, et cetera. And remember, not all CCI patients are gonna be able to tolerate all of these things. So some can't tolerate curve correction and they may need treatment before they have curve correction. Some AO Nuka chiropractic um, adjustments just won't hold. So the patient may need to get treated and get stabilized through injection first. Hopefully this has been helpful to show you that there are ways that you can try to naturally heal by taking the load off the ligaments. And if that doesn't work, you know, we've got your back. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day.